I grew up in a tiny town in Kansas, and our family didn't have a lot of money. So the library was the place that we went for books. The children's room was in the basement, and we would just lie on the floor with, with books and read until our mom was done with whatever she was doing and collected us to bring us home. I have four brothers, and we all shared books with each other. I can still remember my older brother introducing me to the Narnia stories and, and then discovering the Laura Ingalls Wilder books and growing up in Kansas, as I did, reading about a, a girl and her family on the prairie that, was, uh, that, that really felt like my story in a way. When I was 12, my favorite book was The Sherwood Ring, about a, a revolutionary, the, it was set during the Revolutionary War in upstate New York, and a very romantic kind of semi-ghost story set back in the Revolution. And I was so in love with Peaceable Drummond Sherwood. And he was described as tall, thin, and stronger than he looked. And to this day, when people ask me about my fictional detective, V.I. Warshawski, and say, what does she look like? The first thing that comes to my mind is, tall, thin, and stronger than she looks. The w only way that a writer learns to write is by reading and by writing. And I grew up reading, well, everything, but primarily fiction, a lot of crime fiction. I started reading Rex Stout when I was in my early teens. He was another Kansan. And um, my detective came out of all of the books that I read as a child, whether they were crime novels or ordinary novels. There's something of, of each of my heroes in V.I. Warshawski. I'm very fortunate that I live now near the University of Chicago, and I use their library all the time. I wrote a book called Bleeding Kansas, which was set in the part of Kansas where I grew up, and some of it went back to the pioneer days. So I found one uh, diary that had been printed from that period. And when I, when I located that in the stacks, and there I suddenly was in the middle of dozens of pioneer reminiscences, books that were written by surveyors. And uh, one fun book that I came on, I hadn't known this, but the WPA, the Works Progress Administration under FDR, they actually commissioned a book on each state in the Union. What makes us strong as a country and what will help us survive in the long run is our historic commitment to helping each other in times of trouble. And there have seldom been times in America where we've been in as deep economic trouble as we are now. And now more than ever, we have to come together to help each other. Libraries are such a key place in American society. It's where James Michener, who wrote South Pacific, it's where he learned to read. It's where Richard Wright learned to read. It's where Eudora Welty learned to read. It's where I learned to read. It, without libraries, we become so much lesser as a society. We become so much more ignorant, so much less able to solve problems. There are a lot of things that we can do without, but we can't do without libraries.